Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Sims 4. Yes, welcome back. It has been a while, but today we have a let's build here in The Sims 4, and we're building a bachelor pad. A very modern bachelor pad at that. It's very open plan. There are two rooms. Technically, the living room, the dining area, the kitchen, and the bedroom are in the same space because there's no doors. It's just stairs up to the bedroom. The bathroom is obviously separate because that would just be weird. But other, th other than that, everything is in this big open space in the middle of the build. The main sort of space is, is one room, I guess. It is two stories tall. As I said, you go upstairs to the uh, bedroom, which is hidden behind sort of a, a wall in the middle of the floor. It's kind of cool. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I also decided I would sort of build it from the inside out. As you can see, I'm... I've only just completed the shape of the building, which is pretty much a box, but I didn't really want to, you know, go over the top with my first Sims build in a very long time, because I will say it was weird coming back to the Sims for to build stuff. I haven't actually sat down to record a Sims Let's Build in a long time. I haven't sat down to just build in the Sims in a long time, and it was weird, man. Seriously. I was so out of it. I spent so long just like, hey, can I? Is this good? I don't know. And I mean, I will leave it up to you to, to uh, decide whether or not this build is any good. I like it though. I think it's a pretty uh, interesting build. I like the fact that it's very open plan. I like the fact that there is a strong uh, use of the color blue throughout the build, which wasn't actually that wasn't intentional in a it was intentional, obviously. I put the blue through the build, but Blue was just the color I wound up settling on rather than thinking, oh, it's a bachelor pad, so I'll do blue because they're the boy. It was just the color that kind of worked. I I don't know, when it comes to modern builds, I usually I do that. You know, everything's white and then you've got some natural colors with the, the wood flooring and then you just have some strong, vibrant color. And in this case, it was, it was blue. There is also some use of... Uh, warmer colors with brown and orange in the kitchen and there's some reds in the living space just to bring some different colors to the uh, the build and uh, the exterior is actually not blue at all it ends up being yellow which you might be questioning but it kind of looks okay to be perfectly honest I, I kind of like how the uh, the exterior looks I just I like kind of silly colors for exteriors of modern builds in the sims but whatever the case, I realize I've been rambling and not actually talked about what's going on on screen. As you can see, the bathroom is slightly off to the side. There is a shower room separate from the main bathroom, which is fairly basic. To be honest, it's a, a toilet, a sink. There's going to be some decorative stuff in there later, and there is one feature wall that will uh, sort of match the floor in a way. It, well, actually, no, it doesn't match the floor at all. It's the same floor as the floor in the kitchen and then the feature wall is that wall from spa day in this sort of blue color that we have going through the house again so you know coming back to the uh the blue there and here we go just adding in some uh some of the first sort of bronze and oranges that come through the uh the kitchen in the form of the the pot rack and the microwave and the uh what was that the coffee machine the i think i had a tea machine rather than a coffee machine but uh it was just a case of, you know, bring some different colors into here to make it look a little bit interesting, have some uh, contrasting colors going on. And I love the idea of putting this plant on top of the microwave. I put one on top of the fridge as well. I just, I love the idea that there's this bachelor who is obviously very wealthy because this would not be a cheap house. I don't actually remember how much it comes to, but who is obviously quite wealthy living here, but has no idea what to do with a plant. I feel like this is the kind of guy that, you know, goes out and buys a plant because he feels like, I own a house, I need a plant. And he, he put it, like, he brought it home, looked around and went, I don't know what to do with this. So he put it on top of the microwave. Because why not, basically? I, I like the idea that the sim that would live here is sort of clueless in that regard. Because I'll be honest, I wouldn't know what the hell to do with a plant. I... I don't know. Like, if, if any of you guys own plants and they're not dead within a week, then fair play to you. I mean, you're ready. To just go be a parent at this point. If you, can, I feel like if you can look after a plant, you can look after a child. 
Maybe that's not sound life advice. Um, but I will stand by it because I said it in a YouTube video, so it must be true. Oh boy, that's that's something that's going to come back to uh, to haunt me, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, just under the stairs, they're adding in a sort of treasure chest because why not? That's uh, that's a thing that I feel every you know good bachelor should have a a treasure chest in which he can keep his booty. Uh, <laughs> yep, is it obvious? I haven't I haven't commentated anything in The Sims in a while. I really haven't. It's strange. But uh, here we are in the living space, putting the nice big TV up on this uh, nice table here. And below that table, I do end up putting some stuff in there. I put some books. I put a... Uh, I think it's like a light show thing that is going to be completely unusable, but it looks sort of like... Uh, I'll tell you what it looks like, actually. It ends up sort of looking like the game sphere from Dr uh, Drake and Josh. You'll see it. If, it, if, it, if the game sphere that you see in the show, I think you see it once in like the first season. Um, it was like red and spherical uh, and also slightly see-through. But if the thing, yeah, you can see it there. If that was red and slightly see-through and more spherical, that would be the game sphere, totally. <laughs> I realize that's like looking at an Xbox and going, if that was red, see-through and spherical, it would look like the game. I mean, that is true. But, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, there we go. Adding in some more decoration about the place. Adding in a nice rug there. As you can see, we've got the red on the, uh, the pot for the, uh, the bamboo there. And we've got the sort of copper hat on the statue in the corner, which does stay. I know it looks silly, but I actually want to keep the statue there. It's, uh, you know, complements the room, I suppose. Adding in a nice desk here, which has a view of the living space and a much more classic chair. Because at this point, I realized... The guy that would live in this house is not necessarily me. I wouldn't live in this because it's too open plan and I would hate it. Uh, but I like to imagine he has like some of the traits that I do, which are he sees things and just wants them and doesn't think about whether or not it's actually going to be useful or work. Because the chair he has there, there's one on Amazon I've seen and I've got like bookmarked. It's like 250 pounds and it's a proper like classic retro uh sort of office chair and it looks just like that one and I want it even though I have a really good chair at the moment it's uh, it can fully recline it's really good it's got it's got like cushions and stuff on it so your back doesn't hurt and your neck doesn't hurt and it's one of those it's one of those like racing gaming chairs it's really good and my back hurts much less thanks to having it uh, but I want the fancy chair basically also, yes, there is a bottle of champagne on the rocks beside his chair. Chair? Bed. What of it? Uh, he is a hopeful individual. Not necessarily a lucky individual, but he's hopeful. He lives in hope. He also really likes movies, you'll notice. There are movie posters all over this house. Again, that came down to the fact that I sort of just decorated this based on what I think your kind of stereotypical bachelor is going to have. Which is not necessarily art and just movie posters. But uh, there you go. You can see the house is uh, yellow on the outside. And I, I think it looks pretty good. Yellow with the uh, the dark roof and the bricks at the side there for the little balcony. Which has a nice big door going out to it from the, uh, the, the bedroom space. And I am just very uh, happy with how it turned out. I would have loved to be able to continue some pillars up from the corners of the balcony to meet the uh, roof up above, but they'll only go up to the height of the floor that they're on and won't go up the extra bit of height to meet the roof, which is annoying. You could put some half walls on top of the pillars to meet the the roof, but it looked a little bit silly. I did that when I was testing the design for this build, which I think I actually tweeted out. I tweeted out like a shot of the windows because they were all a different color and it looked a little bit silly, but... Uh, yeah, it was it was good. It was it was nice to sit down in the Sims and and plan out a build and then go okay, let's refine this and actually record it. It was a good time, and uh, as you saw there, I made a slight change to the front of the build because I thought it needed a little bit more uh, of the grey bricks in there. So I extended the windows out a little bit. It did wreck my TV. It did get rid of my books. It did get rid of my game sphere. And as you can see, there's actually money uh, behind the TV there. I. 
to have this thing in The Sims where I really like adding those uh, duffel bags of money into uh, my build. I don't know why. I just think it's funny. Like, not, not in a funny ha-ha kind of way. Just in a funny, like, these people have a duffel bag of money just laying about the house. It's similar to a joke I made. I think it was on a live stream or during some build uh, when I was making, like, a, a YouTuber sort of office slash streaming room. And I put, like, several duffel bags of money and gold bars around the place and said, yeah, that's, you know, that's YouTube money. I just think the ridiculousness of it, ridiculousness is a weird word. I think it's just silly. Basically, that's, that's the gist of it. But uh, here we are back in the bathroom, as you can see, just uh, doing some decorating, adding some towels and some rugs and the thing in the corner and some bog roll uh, on the wall, of course. And uh, I think I had a little bit of art there as well. The guy, you know, this guy does have some art. You know, he went to Ikea and saw what they had in their, uh, you know, sort of sample bathrooms and basically said, I want that. Uh, so, you know, he does have some art, but it's not original and he has no idea why he has it, is is my thinking. I, yeah, he, I, I just like to imagine the sim that lives in this house is trying so hard to seem classy and, and modern and like he knows what he's doing, but he put a plant on top of the microwave, he has some like cheap IKEA art in the bathroom that he doesn't know why he owns, and uh, yeah, I, I just like, I like to imagine he's horribly out of his depth. I, I just, I find it funny that he would be horribly out of his depth, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't make stories for my houses, maybe I should, whatever the case. Uh, that is pretty much going to be it for this build. There's a little bit of uh, landscaping to do. I put some trees in. I sort of do some terrain paint around them to make it look like there's some dirt. I do a little bit of terrain painting around the front of the house. And uh, I put some plants about the place. There's not that many windows in this build. There's none on the sides of the build except for the side with the balcony. And with the bathroom as well. The other side is completely just a wall. Uh, but that's fine. I, I still think it's a nice looking build on the inside. And uh, interiors are what I do better than uh, exteriors. So... With that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to leave it there. We're going to go into some screenshots to uh, see how the house looks in the end. And hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you want to see more Sims builds, leave your suggestions below for what you would like to see. And uh, I will, of course, get right on that. So thank you kindly for watching. This has been The Sims 4 and The Modern Bachelor Pad. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye!